Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. This is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this lesson, I am going to teach you about a feature selection using a Fisher score and chi square test on a titanic data set. Earlier, I have been taking so many videos and uh, you can see those videos on my channel. So, uh, 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 the six lectures I have been, uh, I have already taken on a feature selection and earlier I have taken lectures on a classical machine learning and before that on the python getting started and the crash course etc so you can go ahead and watch those videos as well on my channel kgp talky but let's go ahead and uh, first focus on this lesson so in this lesson i'll start with introduction of fisher score and the chi square test then i'll then we will understand what is the chi square test thereafter i'll show you uh, uh, i'll show you how you can load the titanic data set the basically the Fisher score and the chi square test works only on the categorical data set. So in this, I'll be selecting only the categorical data set to work on this example. And once we get the categorical data set, then I'll apply the F test or I'll do the F test or I'll calculate the Fisher score actually. Okay. And, um, and, and, and uh, instead of the, uh, uh, the f test i should say it to uh, f score actually okay so i'll be doing the f calculating the f score and then the p value as we did into previous video and after that i'll be selecting uh, uh, the features which have lowest p value and then i'll compare the performance of the algorithm after selecting different set of the features okay and then finally i'll show you how you can improve the accuracy of your model by two percent by just selecting some particular features or subset of the features instead of by selecting a complete feature set so without wasting a time let's go ahead and start this video high dimensional data in the input space is usually not good for classification due to the curse of the dimensionality which we have been talking uh, through uh, this tutorial series okay in uh, in almost all of my previous videos it significantly increases the time and space complexity for processing the data let's suppose that you have a huge dimension of your data then definitely it will take more time and more space to test and train the model Moreover, in the presence of many irrelevant and redundant features, learning methods tend to overfit and become less interpretable. A common way to resolve this problem is a feature selection, which reduces the dimensionality by selecting a subset of a feature from the input feature set. And it is often used to reduce the computational cost and remove irrelevant and redundant features for problems with high dimensional data and one of the method in filter method is a Fisher score which can be calculated by doing a chi square test which we will be doing in this lesson on a titanic data set so the Fisher score or a chi square test applies only on the categorical data so that categorical data that means they, there has to be a finite set of the data so the basically it computes the distribution its frequency uh, distribution according to its its a frequency me uh, the mode and mode and median so the fisher score is the one of the most widely used supervised feature selection method However, it selects each feature independently according to their scores under the Fisher criteria, which can lead to suboptimal subset of the features. This problem I have been talking through uh, my previous lessons as well. In the univariate feature selection, that's mean where we select features individually by considering the effects of the other features, we may end up by selecting a suboptimal feature set but this is the first and this can be used for a screening purpose and as well as for educational purpose so so these videos are just for the educational purpose at least you should know what are the methods available for a feature selection 
so the chi square test is a, a, a statistical hypothesis test where the sampling distribution of the statistics is chi square distribution and the chi square test is used to determine whether there is a significant difference between the expected frequencies and observed frequencies in one or more categories that's mean one or more features and it is applied only on categorical data set chi square test measures the differences between the stochastic variables so using this function it weeds out the features that are most likely to independent of the class and therefore irrelevant for the classification that means we can remove those features which are irrelevant for the classification are not dependent uh, uh, which are the independent to, to, to the target or the output so let's get started with the classification problem in this lesson so we'll be working on the titanic data set and but before that we need to import some packages into jupyter notebook so initially i have imported numpy as np pandas as pd seaborn as sns matplotlib.py plot as a plt and then i am importing here train test split random forest classifier chi square select k base select percentile and accuracy score from sklearn now let's go ahead and load the titanic data set okay so here we have a titanic is equal to sns dot load data sets and there we have titanic and uh, now i'm gonna uh, the print first five rows of the titanic data set it says that it has total you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so it has total the 14 classes and one class for output which is survived so whether person is survived or not there is just a binary classification as earlier i told you that the chi square test and the fisher score applied only the categorical variable age cannot be considered as a categorical variable fair cannot be considered as a categorical variable the categorical variable means the 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 variable which has a finite number of number of uh, 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 the values are the <coughs> or <coughs> sorry are the values okay so the p class is a categorical since there is just a three class one two and the three sex is categorical uh the cbsp is a sibling uh, 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 is categorical parents child is categorical embarked is categorical class is categorical although this class and the p class is the same uh, the who is categorical adult male is categorical here uh, the deck is also categorical embark town and embark is the same so these are the categorical alive and the alone so are they also categorical okay so we'll be selecting only the categorical data set here to calculate the fisher score uh, by using the chi square test so let's go ahead and see if there is any null values present in this data set of course we can see here there is some, some null values okay but let's say how many null values are present in this data set so titanic dot is null and then sum okay so with this we get that there are 177 null values present into the age and two null values present into the embarked and 688 null values present into the deck and two into the embarked town so here we see that the deck and the age have so many values as a null so the basically what we are going to do we are going to just drop these columns okay since we only need uh, in any way we only need uh, uh, we only need uh, uh, the categorical data so we, we are just going to delete these uh, uh, the variables okay uh, so the titanic dot the drop there i'm gonna put there the labels which i'm gonna drop sorry okay so the first i'm gonna drop age and then i'm gonna drop deck 
right so after this the axis is equal to 1 and then in place is equal to true sorry axis is equal to 1 oops I think num is not on okay so in this way now I have removed the titanic uh, 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 the, these null null columns okay especially the age and the deck now I am also going to uh, at the drop uh, the two rows are in, into the embarked town okay and as well as into the embarked so let's go ahead and drop those two so the titanic and then drop any and that I'm gonna just save into the titanic now you see here now let's go ahead and copy this paste it here and now you check here there is no null values present into the data set now let's go ahead and convert these uh, the categorical data set which is into the, uh, the string convert these into the numerical although we convert it into the numerical it will be the still a categorical data since the 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 number of values will be the finite there okay so let's go ahead first select the data which we need to select the titanic the first we are going to select the p class which is categorical and then the sex and then we have cvsp okay cvsp and then we have uh, parents and child the parseh and apart from that we have embarked as well and uh, we have who there so the who is also a uh, categorical data and there is alone as well and i am dropping these like adult male and uh, other things so i'm just going to drop few so let's go ahead here make a copy of this data and put it into the data now we have got the data let's go ahead and see the data dot head it says that the data doesn't have attribute head okay uh, uh, this should have actually the head let's go ahead and see the type of the data this is the method actually oh sorry here now this should run okay so here we have two four six and the seven seven columns which we can use let's go ahead and see if any null values present in this data although we have already checked that but for make it for the confirmation let's go ahead and check it so there is no null values present and now our task is to convert these categorical variables into a numerical variable actually okay a string into the numerical so what we can do we can create a mapping function here for the six so the six is equal to uh, sorry in, in in the six we have male let's say for male is equal to the zero and then for female it's one okay and then for the data the six is equal to data six dot map then i'm gonna pass the six now you see the six has become male has been replaced with the zero and the female has been replaced with the one we can visualize that with the head now you see here okay perfect now let's go ahead and convert the this um, the embarked as well so for the embarked what we can do I can just write here let's say the ports is equal to let's create a dictionary there so so here dictionary s can be replaced with s can be replaced with the zero and then let's say the c can be replaced with one and then finally uh, sorry and then 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 finally let's uh, the replace q with the two okay perfect now let's go ahead replace with the embarked 
is equal to data embarked dot map and then ports now we have replaced s with 0 c with 1 q with 2 now let's go ahead uh, the replace who and then alone so for the who in the who we have a uh, uh, we have three category man woman and child okay so in this we have man replace man with zero and then we have woman replace woman with one and then finally we have uh, their child as well so re let's replace child with the two and after this on the data we have here who is equal to data who dot map and apply this who dictionary on the data and uh, finally we have alone so in the alone either we have two categories whether the person is alone or not that's mean we have just true or the false so here for the true we are going to replace the true with one and uh, then false we are going to replace with the zero and then here we have data alone sorry data alone is equal to data alone uh, dot map apply this alone okay now let's go ahead and see the first five rows of the data uh, uh, now we can see here uh, we have uh, uh, actually uh, that we have made a mistake a little here uh, this is the true and then false although this will not make it correct so what i can do i need to run it from here so let's go ahead run it from here because uh, yes so now it is correct there because i had made a mistake here so th this data was got corrupted that's why i had to run it from here and now the the string has converted into the categorical numerical data actually now let's go ahead and do a chi square test okay so here we are gonna get x that's mean uh, the input uh, vector that is the feature vector x and y is equal to the titanic and where the people have survived so we have got x and the y so let's go ahead and see the shape of x and y this says that we have 889 rows and seven features and uh, of course the y and x should have a same number of rows now let's go ahead and calculate the f score we can calculate f score with chi 2 that is the chi square there we need to pass x train and then y train and uh, if you remember actually uh, i have not uh, um, uh, they splitted the data so there I need to do first train test split as well x train y train and then y test is equal to train test split there I need to pass x and y and then I need to pass there test size is equal to 0 0.2 and the random state is equal to 0 okay now we have got here f score let's go ahead and print this f score and see as previously we have seen in two previous videos f score do the same thing here uh, f score uh, uh, returns the two array the first array uh, first array have uh, uh, the f values and second array has uh, the p values so the basically we are looking here the p values which have uh, uh, the values less than 0 0.05 okay perfect now let's go ahead and create a series based on these so here we have uh, the p values 
the p value is equal to the pd dot series and in that we have uh, the f score uh, the second second diary which is a p p value and then we should uh, pass a index the index is x train dot columns okay now let's go ahead and uh, sort this p values into uh, ascending order okay so we have here the ascending is equal to the true and we should pass in place is equal to true as well so that it should sort this p values now you see the p values has been sorted into the ascending order and we see here the lowest p value is being held by who and the sex okay these are the extremely low values so this shows that even though if we if we plot this p values let's just plot this so this shows that these who and sex actually these two values are having extremely low and these are the most important values okay so what i am going to do here i am just going to select who and the sex and then i'll find out the what is the accuracy we are getting okay perfect so let's go ahead and uh, select the feature okay so these uh, these two features first so what we can do uh, we can just uh, uh, first make x train underscore 2 is equal to x train okay so in this we are just going to select who and then sex and the similarly we have here the x test underscore 2 and then we have x train sorry we have x test and uh, then we have uh, here who and sex as well so with this we have got our x train 2 for the two feature uh, training and the testing data set and in meantime, I would also recommend you to go ahead with these uh, with these four features as well, or five features. But before that, let's go ahead with these two features only, and uh, let's go ahead uh, build a random forest as we have been making this. Run random forest. Then it has x train. Then it has x test white ring and then the it has white test as well now we have here the classifier clf is equal to random forest classifier there we have uh, uh, the n estimator number of estimator is 100 and then here we have a random state is equal to the 0 and then we have here n jobs is equal to minus one this says that utilize all available cores on a computer and then clf dot fit and i'm going to pass here the x train y train and do remember that these x train y train is not the previous values but these values the local values okay so let's go ahead do the prediction with y pred is equal to clf dot predict on that we need to pass x test and with this let's go ahead and print the accuracy and there we get the accuracy with the accuracy score and there i need to pass the original y values that is the y test r y true and then i have here sorry y pred values so with this uh, we are going to pass first these uh, training and the testing data set with these selected uh, with these uh, 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 these data set which is selected just who and sex and then i'll compare with all the available data so let's go ahead and run this with the time as well so that we can calculate how much time it takes to 
run this random forest algorithm there we have x train 2 and then x test 2 as well and then we have y train and then finally y test so let's go ahead and run this this says that we get the accuracy of the 71 percent that's mean there are so many features even though we have just selected the two feature and after selecting these two features we have got a you know the pretty much good accuracy now let's go ahead and select sell <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry nowadays i am having a little code little cold sorry for that now let's go ahead and select these uh, uh, the top five features who sex b class embarks and alone okay so what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna copy that and i'm gonna just make it five now if you do remember initially we had 14 data uh, uh, the 14 column now we are just going to select these five and those fives are who sex and then p class as well and uh, here let's go ahead and uh, select the p class as well okay uh, in fact what i'm going to do here i'm just going to first select these just three features and then i'll show you even though if we select these three features uh, how much accuracy we will get here okay mm, sorry well, actually we should put it here let's go ahead and add the third features and see how much accuracy we will get here now you see the accuracy has been increased from s almost 72 to 74 the two percent accuracy increment now let's go ahead and select the fourth one okay so what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna just copy and the paste it here now let's go ahead and select the four okay and the fourth one is the embarked okay so it says that we have here embarked okay let's go ahead and make it four so with this actually you can uh, do the feature selection how it is varying now it is improved to the 75 okay so in the same way what we can do uh, 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 now let's go ahead and actually the the change this embarked with the alone okay and see how much accuracy we uh, are uh, we are getting here so once again we get the almost the same accuracy if we include the four feature now let's go ahead and calculate the uh, uh, add the four feature as well so i mean in the embark add this alone as well so we can just copy this with the c on your keyboard and paste it here so with embark i'm gonna include the alone there sorry okay So here what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put it 4, 5 actually and here it is the 5 and then this should be the 5 as well and this should be the 5 as well. So let's go ahead and run this. Now we get the I think almost the same accuracy that doesn't change much so now you see here why adding this alone is not adding much information now finally let's go ahead and test the accuracy on the original data set how much accuracy we are getting there with the run random forest and we have here the x train and then finally we have x test then we have y train and y test as well so on the final data set if you see if we add all the available uh, uh, all the available are uh, the features we get just accuracy of the 73.6 percent but 
if we add just a selected few selected features based on the p values okay the based on just a smallest p values we we get a better accuracy now you see here the 73% and we are getting here 75% in fact here with the with the four features who sex p class and the embarked we get the 75.84% of the accuracy so this is how the feature selections makes it uh, uh, helps helps to improve the accuracy and uh, with this we can see here we have got almost the 2% better accuracy by selecting the less number of the features so by selecting the less number of features doesn't only uh, improve the accuracy but it also uh, reduce the training time which is very essential in case of the big data okay so this is all about in uh, uh, the feature selection using a filter method the previously i have talked about the uh, the feature selection using uh, information gain uh, using the auto correlations and uh, using the anova test and uh, now this fisher score chi square test etc okay so this is the end of the feature selection methods using a filter methods univariate feature selection methods and from the next lesson onwards i'll be talking about the the feature selection using wrapper methods and followed by the embedded methods so wrapper and embedded methods are most widely used into the feature selections those method feature selection method techniques are a little costly than filter methods but those are really very effective since those features involves the machine learning algorithms very closely and uh, but the feature selections with the filter methods has its own advantage like like a fast and the simple and uh, for educational purpose it is really important for you to understand and know how many types of the uh, uh, um, the feature selection methods are available in the market so this is all about in this lesson please don't forget to like and the subscribe this channel bye bye have a nice day